maintaining professional integrity. Our ability to maintain professional integrity in the workplace and outside the workplace has a powerful impact on our productivity, performance, and reputation. Behaving with professional integrity requires patience, practice, strength of character, and self-awareness. Following a trending video where a few lawyers at a recently concluded annual conference of the Nigerian Bar Association looted conference materials, it is safe to say that professional integrity is a conscious effort at maintaining decorum in the face of pressure. It is right to state that those who behave with professional integrity generally uphold a moral standard of conduct, both in professional as well as personal endeavors. These standards govern how professionals conduct themselves, their work ethic, and their communication. As a delegate at the recently concluded NBA conference, I must say that the sessions were well organized and overall, it was a successful outing. Conclusively, the need to consciously adhere to rules and maintain decorum is a vital tool to achieving professional integrity regardless of the situations that may occur. So what do you guys think about the looting of conference materials by lawyers? So like, Let me are, like are we surprised or like... Yes, what do you guys think? Are you... We, we are don't you, agree, are but we're not surprised. I am not surprised, okay. but I mean, I was we have a lot surprised. of lawyers. We have a lot of lawyers who are who hold positions of high authority in the country. Exactly. See how they behave. So I don't think um, it's a lawyer thing. Mm -hmm. I think it's, a, it's a, our cultural thing, our Nigerian thing, if you yes. let me use that word. So where, where you have situations where there is no penalty mm -hmm. for misbehavior, misbehavior mm -hmm. just have money and do as you like to a large extent. I mean, it's, it's subtle, but it's there. Exactly. People behave as, as they like. Mm -hmm. And so, so that's what I saw there. And I know governors who can behave even worse. Exactly. Yeah. So it's, it's just unfortunate that it happened in a conference with learned colleagues and call, but we're not surprised because it's this, from the same stock mm -hmm. that we also lead in this country. So exactly. it's a jungle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I expected so much from your <laughs> so called learned colleagues. <laughs> well, let me believe those people that did that are not actually lawyers in character. Mm -hmm. The only we had just some doubts that we were able to go to get law school. LNB, yes. Unfortunately, because the system didn't properly vet them before giving them that certificate. Unfortunately, but if you extrapolate this, those in the National Assembly, the Hallowed Chamber, mm -hmm. are they any better? Mm -hmm. jump fences. When somebody will carry they carry chairs. And, and they fight. Are, are they not, what image are they putting mm -hmm. about Nigeria? They should mm -hmm. be ashamed of themselves. The lawyers now for the past six months. And then you see some policemen, like a day I saw one policeman drunk on the road. Well, it's negative. I understand the current Inspector General of Police is doing his best to build, to, the, to image. build the good image of Nigeria police. But you should watch you. These things happened before his tenure anyway. This particular incident happened before mm. his current IG's tenure. But you see, this thing has been happening over time. Yes. So let's be conscious anywhere we are. Exactly. Whether you are educated or uneducated, respect literate your or illiterate, respect, respect your yourself. Office. Exactly. Respect yourself. That's yes. in local finance. Just yes. be aware. And be patient. Be patient. I think, Even yeah, because... if there's a problem, do it properly. Address your issues properly. You don't have to be, a, you don't have to be unruly yes, it, just it, to pass the point. Yes, yeah, like they say on, on Twitter, violence, no, no peace. Violence. Violence, yes. So, <laughs> violence is not, um, like they say, peace is not an option, like the way they say on Twitter, but we should and always... Um, <laughs> yes. Um, ironica, sorry. Yeah, they're being ironica. Exactly. Yeah, so. So, so, let's hear your, vo your view, so, uh, Malika. I think, um, so Do you have one really positions since Nigeria, Nigeria. Um, they said, um, um, everywhere in the house. So, <laughs> meaning like, the, the country at the moment is in that phase where people don't know what they're doing, so they have to do just whatever happens in that particular time. But like your topic, integrity, I think integrity is a key word. It's like a, like a smile. It's your presence wherever you go. So if I have to employ someone in my company and I tell that person, give one page about integrity, essay, yeah. or ethics. I don't want to see CV. Because I believe I can impact skills on people. Mm -hmm. I know what I'm looking for. So I, I want to know your ethics, your work ethics, okay. and then how your character, how you present yourself. Because as soon as I get you around my circle, you know you're representing me, you're my brand ambassador. Exactly. So I think that's one thing, once you become a politician, you lack that in Africa. And then once you become a lawyer, you lack that. Because you have to brands for everything. So if me and this for the first time, I'm not surprised. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but they don't get me wrong, I came from a legal family where like half uh, members of my family were lawyers. I've never seen them doing any of that. So I'm not mm -hmm. talking that 
saying all lawyers doesn't have integrity mm. or all politicians, but it does depend on the individuals. Yes. So those people were you were there. Yes, I was did you there. Miss Bill, uh, no, I didn't. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> So that's why when you go, when you go any circle, let that person give you a page of ethics or integrity, so you know the people that you are associating yourself with. I think it was just one few bad apples that exactly. were the rest yeah. of the uh, legal yeah. practitioner in, in Nigeria, and I believe there are a lot of good people, and then we should we should still have faith in our people. It was bad. They've seen the video, it's trained mm. online. Probably they'll learn from that, and then we'll move forward. But I think what we need to do for them to become successful, integrity and ethics come first. Exactly. Yeah. Very, very important. They work and in hand. They're like the same WhatsApp group. If you delete one of the group, and everything, <laughs> if you take one of the group and everything, then everything is you know, it's not working. So I think we just need to learn from that. And this, this kind of attitude is common not only in Nigeria, in most African yes, countries, the parliamentary especially. Like there was one that happened, I think, was it last year or last year in African Union? They had this oh, African no, no, parliament. Pan and you saw what happened. Yeah, the, Where they were exchanging uh, blues. Mm -hmm. Yes, from different countries yeah, in yeah, Africa. Is that not a ship? Yeah. So uh, let's, EFL, let's respect ourselves. And then the Mal guy from Mali and Senegal who was trying to be president. Yeah, I remember that. I remember. It, it come on now. It's not only in Africa. It's not only in Africa. It happened in the British. Yeah, even when Trump was around. Yeah, 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 yeah in the Yes, exactly. Yeah, yes. Yeah, but let's respect ourselves. But the only problem is that if your skin is black, understand that you're already a suspect. You don't want to say that on national TV. When your point take it. But we know we don't have to say, but it's an actual fact. I think. As we have learned so far, Professional integrity is very important in our daily lives. We should ensure that wherever we are in a workplace, outside the workplace, we should ensure that we maintain high decorum and professional ethics, be good people, be patient, and, and choose to do the right thing at all times. Thank you so very much. We thank you for your attention while the program lasted. We hoped our conversations resonated with you. Little drops of water they see make a mighty ocean. Don't forget, the advocacy continues on our social media platforms on Facebook, Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG, and Instagram at Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG. To catch up with previous broadcasts, go to plustvafrica.com forward slash The Advocate NG. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa. Join us next week, same time on this station. Let's keep advocating for a better society. See you next time.